Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com Tailor Your Entertainment with Streaming. And this video is continuing to explore the Minix Neo U1. What we're going to look at here is how to upgrade your firmware using their OTA updater. It's really simple. And I'm going to show you just a simple shortcut that will make things easier for you in the future. You notice down here at the bottom you have a little launch bar and there's a plus symbol. You want to select the plus symbol and go into where you have all of your apps displayed and select system update. See the little green check in the box? That means the system is selecting it. Go down here to confirm, make sure it's green and press OK. And from here you can go on into the OTA updater and you'll see there is an update ready to go. So we're going to download it. This being an Android system, it's of course asking about you know, Wi-Fi and charges and stuff like that. We don't have to worry about that. But we're just going to go ahead and download it and I've got my setup with a wired in ethernet connection and there might be a couple of updates so we're going to go ahead and just we'll download one and when it gets done loading we'll download the others and update now you'll see I'm using the A2 light air mouse here I find that that's the easiest way to work this out and of course you do want to make sure that your system is plugged in otherwise it wouldn't even be on at all again that's much more of a tablet or phone kind of warning Okay, so as you see, that has been edited for time a bit, so that you didn't have to watch each thing download and each second that the bar went by. It, it really doesn't take too long, a few minutes at most. But now we are back and we have the firmware updated. So before we move forward, we're just going to make sure that we still have the most updated firmware. So what we're going to do is click on System Update again we're going to check for updates and that will let us know if we have anything else to download and we don't the system is currently up to date which is great and now we are good to go just to make sure there's nothing running in the background I'm going to hit all tasks killer that's one of my favorite features of these Minix boxes by far it's got a good solid operating system, of course, and you know, and I like the interface, but that all tasks killer. When things are slowing down, you just knock it out. Okay, so while while we're at it, now that we've updated the firmware, we can just take a look at, uh, just want to show you some features that you might not have seen before. This uses a Android TV-like setup in the settings. It makes it a lot easier to look at settings uh, you know, it's it's a more TV based. It's larger, and it's just a little, quite a bit more fluid than that kind of clunky, sort of Chinesey looking Android setup. You can even add other Google accounts. You can access your Bluetooth settings. I just find that this is a good way to go about changing things around. It's it's easier than the old blue, black, and gray screens that we used to see before. Also, you can add your favorite apps to your little launch bar down here. You just go to the green plus, and we'll let's say add Netflix. I love having the File Explorer down easy. We'll go ahead and add XBMC for Mini X. And 
and I think we're good. Well, how about the, uh, well, there's already a little thing for the Play Store, so we'll leave that out. Drop the app installer in. And can, eh, let's throw in Google. And confirm. Boop. And see now all this stuff is right here. Ready to access. So that is a simple guide on installing the latest firmware onto your Mini X or Minix player. I hope this was helpful. If thought so, please subscribe to the Streaming Advisor YouTube channel and check us out at www.thestreamingadvisor.com. We've got lots of information, helpful guides, videos and written information for you to help you work this stuff out. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.